Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Celia. And in this video, it's more so of a tutorial, me sharing my first time doing the Shirley Temple type of curls. This was heavily inspired by one of my favorite YouTube influencers, Kendra Kinche. She did this look and I fell in love and I wanted to do it like probably a couple days after. I will be using some regular old pipe cleaners to achieve this look. I got this from Target for $3, you guys. Depending on the type of pipe cleaners that you guys get, there might be some that are more fuzzier than others, but I'm just going through and I'm running my fingers along them to get any extra fuzzies so that it doesn't get caught in my hair. Okay, so the way I'm going to go about doing this hairstyle, I'm going to talk about it and give you instructions based off of how I do it for my length. But if you have a longer hair type or if you have thicker style locks, there are some adjustments to where you can actually still achieve that nice spirally thin type of curl look. So I folded my pipe cleaners in half and left a loop at the end because my hair is shorter. For people who have longer locks, I would keep the pipe cleaners the length that they're at and just combine them two at a time. Create a ball at the end of both of the pipe cleaners joined so that your curl doesn't become loose. I'm just going ahead and pre-twisting as much as I can. I didn't really do the whole pack at first because I didn't really gauge how much that I needed, but at the end, I found out the more dense your hair is, the thicker your hair is, the more pipe cleaners you need to achieve that more uniform look. So I would go ahead and do the entire pack if you have really dense hair. If you don't really have really dense hair, I would start off with at least maybe 50 to 75 pipe cleaners of the pack if you don't have long hair. You know, if it's long hair, you have to use two pipe cleaners at the time. So I would just multiply that by two. Okay, now I'm parting my hair. Now that I have experience with doing this hairstyle, what I can say when it comes to determining how much hair you should have per pipe cleaner, for a more defined look, I would say you should get at least one to one and a half inches of hair with like as far as like how many strands you get when it comes to putting it per rod. Now, that's saying like, you know, if you have really thin locks, it should still be an inch and a half versus like let's say your locks are really thick they're dense that would that can mean two locks for somebody or that can mean like three to four locks for somebody or that can mean eight locks for somebody just make sure it's like an inch or an inch and a half for the more defined curls something i wasn't mindful when i was first doing this hairstyle is that i have different size locks throughout my head so the very front of my head my locks are much more thinner and they're more fine versus the back of my head and the middle of my head, my locks are way more thicker. So I kind of got lazy towards the end and I was just, <laughs> I was just rolling them up and trying to do the same of what felt the same towards the back. And you'll notice at the end of the video, the difference in the curl pattern from me doing that. That one and a half inch rule is for the uniform type of people, the girls that want the uniform curl look like Kenja Kinche. The only product that I'm using for this hairstyle is water mixed with a little bit of aloe vera juice. But if you use just water, that is just as fine. Let me tell you, it is it works just as well. So I sprayed a little bit on there just to make it a little damp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pipe cleaner in the part where the loop is at. That's where I'm going to start actually rolling the hair onto there. But when I first initially roll it, I'm going to roll it around there just regularly like two to three times and then i'm going to start rolling up slowly but surely um, i didn't really overlap the hair as much i just try to roll up as much as i can to the point where it gets to the end of the pipe cleaner when i get to my scalp i'm going to just fold it over and that's just going to basically keep the curl intact It took me like about an hour to an hour and a half to complete doing my entire head. And that's with me getting lazy. That's also with me um, <laughs> making new pipe cleaner um, curl rods because I ran out and I needed more than I actually expected to use.
okay guys just some things that i noticed throughout doing this hairstyle it was very comfortable to sleep in at nighttime it felt like i was sleeping on little pillows however my hair did get pretty snagged on the pipe cleaners which i was li a little worried about but not too much i think it was a little snaggy because i did spray my hair with that temporary paint the previous day which made my hair pretty sticky if you saw my last video about it this hairstyle lasted me about two weeks two weeks and i'm not saying two weeks it looked exactly like it was how it looks right now the curls as compacted but even this day when i had these curls like this i kind of detangled them throughout the day even more because i wanted a more fuller look faster now if you were to just let your hair just go about its freely to unravel on its own it's going to last longer and the curls are going to stay more defined longer um, but i like the full look so i achieved the full look that first day and it was just still really nice and pretty for the next couple of weeks i was still able to manage still moisturizing my scalp water every couple of days i would just focus it on your scalp and then maybe basically like spray your fingertips and kind of touch up your ends throughout the week to maintain this hairstyle to i just really kind of just slept with the bonnet on um, Kendra Kanche, she left an updated video on how she maintained her curls. She said she basically does the pineapple, so she pushes all the hair to the top of her head and she ties it or puts the bonnet up that way so that the curls could fall down. Um, you could do either way, but it's not hard to maintain it because the curls are so defined. Well, this sums up my video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and it was very helpful for all lock types. I would 10 out of 10 do this hairstyle again, especially when it comes to going on vacation because it can withstand the heat and being out there. The curls won't really drop as much as it would for like a braid out or a regular twist out. The pipe cleaners are definitely reusable. I put them up so I could reuse them a couple of times. I feel like you could probably use them like two to three more times. And then after that, I would probably get a new set. But I'll be seeing you guys next time. Have a good day.